Hey there. So you know how you get to the end of the day and just before it's time to go to bed, you hear your name being called from the kitchen? Except it's not a person calling your name, it's your favorite sweet treat that speaks in a language that only you understand. I know you know what I'm talking about and I'm not judging you. Actually, I can relate because sugar is my personal weakness. If your sugar cravings are as bad as mine, you might have a sugar problem and acknowledgement is the first step. Okay, now that we've gotten past that, we have to figure out what's going on inside of our bodies that's causing such an insatiable sweet tooth. Before we get into some science, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you wanna continue learning more about how food is impacting your health. All right, let's see if we can get to the bottom of these cravings. All right, so first of all, my name's Austin, and like I said, I can definitely relate to the need for a sugary fix. As simple as it sounds to stop eating sugar, the issue is probably more complex than you realize. So here's the science behind those sugar cravings you're always having and a few ways to beat them once and for all. Even though the scientists are still debating whether intense sugar cravings can officially be classified as an addiction, based on my personal experience, it's a full-blown addiction. In any case, it's pretty clear that a combination of physiological, psychological, and economic factors contribute to sugar's notoriety. The sweet stuff is packed into most of today's processed foods designed to keep you coming back for more. On top of that, many of us have been conditioned from an early age to associate sweetness with happiness and comfort. Ironically, we turn to sugar for celebrations and sad times. But even if you're not trying to soothe yourself, cravings and habits go hand in hand. When you eat sugar, dopamine neurons in your brain are activated and your body will cue up neural systems and pathways that make you seek out these sweet experiences over and over again. Although the data can seem overwhelming and sometimes it feels like an uphill battle, you don't need to be discouraged if you're trying to get rid of that sweet tooth. You just need some tools. So here are five ways you can shake off those shackles and break the sugar craving cycle. Number one, you gotta limit exposure. It may be tempting to try and satisfy cravings with just a taste, but even small amounts of sugar will cue your body to eat more and can even reinforce past eating patterns. I know you think you're strong enough, and I'm sure you're strong, but relying on willpower can only get you so far if you're fighting your physiology. Avoidance can be your best friend in this fight. Number two, give it some time. Studies demonstrate that it can take weeks for cravings to die down after diet changes, about a month on average. Be patient with your body and be persistent towards your health goals for lasting results. Number three, break the association. If you find that you always crave a sweet snack mid-afternoon while you're in office, try taking a walk at that time instead. You want to decondition yourself so that your brain no longer links that moment in your day with sugar consumption. Number four, employ mindfulness. The practice of mindful meditation helps slow your body's stress response. The next time you crave chocolate in a stressful moment, you can pause, recognize the underlying feeling, and choose another option for comfort. And lastly, strive for a balanced diet. Eating ample fiber, protein, and healthy fat increases satiety, keeps blood sugar levels stable, and reduces sugar cravings. Actually, a 2020 study found that people who ate an average of 35 grams of fiber per day had better blood sugar markers than those who averaged just 19 grams of fiber. And other studies show that eating fat alongside carbohydrates can decrease the uptake glucose after eating. Why does that matter? Because sugar cravings are closely linked to dramatic fluctuations in glucose. So stable blood sugar can be your best friend as you overcome your cravings. Look, I'm not perfect at managing my sugar cravings, but when I do have streaks of success, it's always after implementing one or more of those five methods I just gave you. To arm yourself with more science behind sugar cravings, be sure to check out the full length blog post that's linked in the description of this video. Thanks for tuning in, good luck with those sugar cravings, and we'll see you in the next video.